Hello. Okay, so for today's video, I am playing, I'm diving into the brand new Jeffree Star Cosmetics concealers and setting powders. Now, once I did my blue blood video, a lot of you guys were like, oh my God, I'm so happy that you guys are like on good terms again. And like the other half was like, oh my God, thank God, because we needed to know what this full coverage hoe would think of his new concealers and powders. As you guys know, I am all about that full coverage foundation, concealer, powder, the whole shebang, the whole nine yards, 20 yards if you ask me. So of course, I have to put this to the test. So so if you want to see how the Jeffree Star concealers compare to my Holy Girl Jouer one, what I think of them, if they are actually full coverage, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, before we dive into this review, I would like to point out that there will be a little giveaway in this video right here, so stay tuned. All right, so for any base product to really thrive and to really work, I always wanna prime. Now, some people really believe in primer, some don't. I am a firm believer. And literally everyone has been talking about the Milk Hydro Primer. I bought it last week, tried it a couple of times, enjoyed it highly so far. So I'm also applying it as my primer today. And I believe this primer too has like the, the CBD extract stuff in it. And since you know, this is a Jeffree Star video, and you know, he's quite fond of the CBD. <laughs> I thought it would be quite fitting. Now for any concealer to actually work, you need your foundation, your other base product to really go well with it and cooperate with it too. I have been loving this one off camera. I've been diving into this one a lot. This is by Natasha Denona. This is called the Transfer Matte foundation and I'm in the color 5N Fair. I've been really liking this and I have a feeling because this has a more matte feel and uh, the concealer's a little bit more on the dewy side. I feel like these will go hand in hand because they kind of balance each other. So I'm applying this as my foundation. Like I said, full coverage hole. <laughs> All right, time for the moment of truth. Let's see how this concealer works on my face. Now, this is my second time playing with it. I will show you later on in this video how it worked for me yesterday. I played around with the colors yesterday and I feel like my best match is C6, which is quite surprising because it's six and not one or two. <laughs> and another one I really like is C3. So C3 and C6 kind of have that same yellowy vibe going on. C3 is just a whole lot lighter. I always like going almost the same tone as my foundation, but maybe even a little bit more yellowy to cancel out any darkness. And then I can always go in with a lighter shade to highlight, which is exactly what I'm doing today. So first going in with C6 right off the bat, I do wanna let you know that I got this in PR. Thank you so much, Jeffrey, for sending it over. But I do wanna let you know that my little star broke in half. When I open her up, first of all, I love this. This is so bougie, I live. <laughs> it comes with a doe foot applicator with a little hole in the middle that will suck up any product that's right in there so you get a little bit of extra product as you apply it. Okay, and here we go. I'm gonna apply it right underneath my eye. And it's a thinner, wetter formula than Jouer. Under eye. I'm also gonna put some on the center of my forehead, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, under my lip, this is still the same dip, and my chin. Boom. Now, usually I will let my concealer dry in a little bit for extra coverage, but you kinda have to work quickly with this concealer because it dries pretty fast. So going in with my sponge and I start tapping it in. blending out into nothing. Then I move to the forehead, just tap, 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 up and down motions, blend that in. Nice. Now the nose is a tricky one because usually when you put too much concealer or a too thick concealer on the nose, your pores start coming through and they're like,
And with this, it is absolutely hiding the appearance of my pores. Now that it is blended in everywhere, under my eyes, it had a little bit of time to set to get more coverage and now it's time to blend it in. I start from the bottom and make sure that the bottom edge is perfectly blended out. Nice and smooth. That blends out so seamlessly. And then I look up and I make sure it goes all the way up to my lash line. And then when you look, it is bright, it is lifted, it looks flawless. There is the tiniest bit of darkness still seeping through right here. That doesn't happen with my Jouer. So it's not the most full coverage concealer I've ever used, but it's full coverage. Other eye, starting from the bottom, making sure everything is nice and flawless underneath. Get that nice and airbrushed, and then look up and get it up to that lash line. So that is what one layer looks like on top of the Natasha Denona Transfer Matte Foundation, and it looks stunning. But I do want the double up, as Snoop would say, so I'm just gonna add a bit more of C3, the lighter one, to highlight the dark circles a bit more. Right here, right on that darkness. See, the double up, see how bright that is? C3 already is so bright. Can you imagine how bright C1 and 2 are? So that double up really gives it that coverage that I'm looking for. That gives it that Jouer Essential High Coverage coverage. coverage, And that totally lit up that darkness a bit more and that made it totally flawless. You know what's also quite interesting about this formula is that it dries quick but it stays this sort of tacky finish. I'm gonna make sure that all creases are gone before I set with powder. Now the powder, oh my God, it smells like a smoky cotton candy. So I'm picking up the rose and then let's bake, honey. It smells like cotton candy that has been smoked on the barbecue for like a couple of seconds and it's like this smoky cotton candy, it's so, Good. I want to use this powder as a topping of my dessert. That's how good it smells. So when I apply the powder, and I'm happy that it's happening on camera now too, where the sponge is a little bit too damp and is a little bit too wet for the powder, it leaves tiny traces of cooked up powder on my face. So this right here is the setting powder that got a little bit too wet, started clumping together and form like a little ball of powder on the skin. Now this is not a bad thing because this this happens for me a lot. This happened with me with the NARS powders. It happens with the Laura Mercier for me, except for Fenty Beauty Butter. And that's why I love the Fenty Beauty one so much because they don't do this. But what you should know is that you have to let this dry for a little bit so it becomes loose powder again and you can just sweep it off. But I do wanna point out that that happens for me um, with a lot of powders and so it does with this one by Jeffree. If we look at my under eyes though, highlighted, lifted, perfected. I love the double up of concealer and then using the rose underneath. It's actually my first time trying the rose and it totally gives me an extra spark of highlight. Now for the rest of the face to set, I'm dipping into Fair and Translucent. I'm gonna use Fair on my T-zone area and Translucent on my cheeks. My studio smells so good right now, like I don't wanna leave at any point this day if it stays smelling like this. Oh, this is what Fair looks like. I'm just gonna pick some up with the powder puff and I'm gonna set my T-zone area. Just wanna tap that, oh, that scent. Oh, the nose. Now, I'm guessing a lot of you guys are gonna be wondering if this compares to Fenty Beauty Butter, the setting powder. It does compare. I just feel like the Fenty one is even more finely milled, so it seeps into the pores even more and makes them look invisible. But when I go really up close on my face, this one is almost a dead on dupe. Now it's time to set this portion with translucent. Now would I usually do that? No, but you know, I wanna show you that I'm trying as many powders of this collection as possible. And these three are totally my jam when it comes to my skin color. Now that is so finely milled, it has the same effect on my pores as the Fenty one. All right, so you know how it goes on this channel. I am quickly gonna go off camera for a little bit to do my brows. Might as well do my eyes too. And then we'll see how cheek products work 
with this mix. Alrighty, brows are applied, and as I was carving up my brows using my P. Louise base, I was like, okay, but I remember the concealer feeling very tacky when I blended it in with my sponge. So that kind of made me go like Jimmy Neutron. I went like, Ding! So I'm kind of interested in seeing if the concealer is tacky enough as an eyeshadow base. For that, I'm using color C1. I wanna go a little bit lighter to make the eyeshadows pop. Okay, let's see, I'm just gonna stamp that on. Oh, stop it, this is working? <gasps> what? So it's definitely not as tacky as the P. Louise base. It's definitely setting in place a lot quicker and it's becoming set in that sort of like interesting matte tacky feel. Oh my God, did we just find a long lost brother of P. Louise that is a bit more matte in life? Did we just do that? Hit you with the da 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 da. Oh my God, guys, I've been obsessed, obsessed with Blackpink. The tunes, the beats, the bops, the, the music videos. Can we talk about the music? The music videos are in a league of their own. So time to see how cheek products react to the concealer, but mostly the powder. First up is bronzer, and today I'm going in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm just gonna start swirling that onto the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, so that is blending seamlessly. That is looking flawless. It's not disrupting the base. It's not breaking apart anything. The powder is really standing its ground and not moving around. That is a-okay. I wanna let you know that I went on a little vacation to LA and Dylan and I went to like the Santa Monica Pier. We went to Disneyland and my forehead was so sunburned that I've started peeling and cracking in all kinds of places here on my forehead. So my forehead right now is a battlefield and as soon as I go in with a brush, you see lots and lots of dead skin and I've been scrubbing every single day and still I have dead skin falling off of me. So if you see any, say hi to it and tell it to move on. For blush, I wanna go for a pinky one. So this one right here is by MAC. This is called Dainty and it's a mineralized blush. For highlighter today, I wanna to be using one of my current favorites. This one is by Wet n Wild. <laughs> this is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Bloom Time. This is a peachy highlighty dream. Ooh. Oh. Oh yes. So to get all matchy matchy with the backdrop today, I have this liquid lip right here by Dose of Colors. This is in the color Strawberry Pop. So I'm a pop that on my lips. I love that. It's like the perfect mix because this backdrop isn't like a true red, it's like a pink red. And this lip too, it's not a true red, it's a pink red. All right, and let's finish it with a little bit of setting spray. All right, so here's what the face looks like up close. No skin filter is on. Of course, my lighting always helps make everything look more perfect. But as you can see, it leaves me with a flawless, perfectly flawless base. Okay, that is my full face completed using the collection and playing around and seeing how everything reacts. And here are my final thoughts. Oh, and I know you're waiting for that giveaway. Just hang on tight for a little bit longer. Okay, and before I give you my final thoughts, I do wanna let you know that for my eyes, I totally forgot mentioning, I use the Warrior Palette by Juvia's Place. This is one of my favorite palettes by Juvia's Place because just I look at the colors. So that is what is on my eyes. I am affiliated with Juvia's Place. So if you wanna save some money when ordering Juvia's, all you have to do is use discount code Nikki at checkout and it will save you a couple of dollars. Okay, I think everyone who's been watching me for a little bit and tuning in today is gonna wonder if Jeffree Star's concealer beats Jouer, my holy grail. So when we look at Jeffree, the concealer has 3.4 milliliters and when we look at Jouer, it has 4.14 milliliters, both retail for $22. So Jouer is $22, unless you use my discount code and you get a little bit of money off, 
<laughs> and the Jeffrey one is $22 too. Now, when I look at which consistency I like better, these are totally different. This is the ultimate high coverage concealer for me. This will never let me down. It looks good. It's just, this is my baby. This comes close to what it looks like on the skin. I just need a double up for the coverage to get this coverage, what I get with the Jouer. And it has a little bit more of a dewy finish. Now, does that mean this is worse? Absolutely not. It's just a different kind of experience. All right, the powder. This is where it starts getting interesting for me. When I look at the Jeffree Star powder, it contains 10 grams of product. When I look at my Fenty Beauty, this contains 28 grams of product. Jeffree retails for $22. Fenty retails for $32. So for $10 extra, you get 18 grams of product more. How do these compare? Now, of course, this one is more affordable and it gives me almost that same flawless airbrush finish as I get with the Fenty. The Fenty one wins for me personally because I really like how it looks underneath the eyes and it doesn't do like the, the, the buildup of the, like the, little, like the little mountains of powder that you saw in the beginning. This one doesn't do that for me. When you look at the way they're milled, I think that butter is softer and more finely milled, whereas the Jeffree one is a like the tiniest, teensiest bit more dense in density, but still gives you that airbrush flawless finish. They both completely hide my pores. This is a really, really good powder. And for the price, you might wanna try this out too. This smells, like I said, like a smoky cotton candy. Now, if you don't like any scents in your products, you might not like this because it is apparent. It doesn't linger around, but it is apparent when you apply it. And I love that, you may not. This is all personal preference. This is how I experience these products. And you are the boss of your wallet. You own your money. You worked very hard for it. So I'm not gonna be like, well, you need this in your life. If you feel like this powder or concealer might complement your routine, absolutely. You have the money for it, absolutely. Go try it out, check it out. Um, but at the end, end of the day, you is the boss. I think they performed phenomenally. And even the wear test, which I did yesterday, went great as well. Alrighty, so this is what we're looking like in natural daylight. I am looking flawless. So I'm on my way to Belgium, Antwerp, because one of my best friends, Joyce, has an expo there with all her makeup art. She actually has her makeup art in an actual gallery. So this is what I'm wearing to go support her today. I will show you some of her work. And yeah, off to a great wear test day. Okay, I'm here at Joyce's Expo. Joyce, say hello. Say hello. Hi. I'm so proud of you. Guys, I am buying that one in the corner over there. And if you're interested in buying some of this incredible art, I have a link down below. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is so exciting. <laughs> Five hour mark. Still looking good. Still looking good. Eight hours in. I had to do a couple of powder touch-ups throughout the day, but it still looked very passable at 12 hours of wear. I napped in this makeup, I traveled in this makeup. I literally lived in this makeup for 12 hours and it still looked very good at the end of the day. So do with that what you like. I think the wear test was pretty awesome. That rounds up this review on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics concealers and powders. As for the giveaway, today I'm giving away one blood sugar palette right here. Here she is. Now, if you want to win the blood sugar palette, all you have to do is, of course, be subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below telling me something that includes the Dutch word of the day. In my previous video, the Dutch word of the day was for bad, which was slecht. And here's that shout out that everyone's been waiting for. Everybody have a good day. Don't feel slecht. As for today's Dutch word of the day, I wanna do another word because you guys really seem to love it. So for today's Dutch word of the day, it is for beautiful. Prachtig, prachtig. 
Prachtig. This is a hard one because you have two. So you better get going, baby. If you want to be featured in my next video, all you have to do is leave a comment down below featuring the Dutch word of the day. It will enter you into the giveaway as well. And if you want to be featured with a video shout out, all you have to do is post your video response on Instagram under the hashtag Dutch word of the day. And who knows, you might see your face pop up in the next one. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's brand new video. I hope you enjoyed definitely let me know what you think of this brand new launch and hopefully i will see you guys on the next one ta-ta bye-bye bye now